Hi everyone, I'm Marissa Sarbach. Welcome to The Buzz, Newsday's weekly series covering the hottest trends in music, movies, television, and so much more. Joining us on the show today, actor Jake Borelli, aka Dr. Levi Schmidt from the ABC hit show Grey's Anatomy. Jake, thank you so much for joining us here on the show today. Thank you for having me. I'm excited to be here. We're excited to have you. And I know you and Ellen Pompeo, Shonda Rhimes, the creator of Grey's, have left us on a total cliffhanger here. So we need to talk about where you left off. It is killing me to wait until tonight for the next episode. I, it's been it's <laughs> been a long time coming. This was a long hiatus, but we're excited to be back. And I think people are going to be a little bit shocked where we go this episode. Oh, we love that. You always keep us on our toes. I know Dr. Gray just went on a ventilator for her relapse with COVID symptoms. We saw the human trafficker just spotted at the hospital again. So what is going on? What can we expect if you can even tell us? Oof, I mean, that that finale episode was wild. I got to say, I almost had her. I almost got that human trafficker, but poor Levi didn't know what was going on. And uh, I think now things are coming to light and 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 hopefully we'll uh, hopefully we'll catch the bad guy. I don't know, though. We'll have to watch. All right, let's take a quick look from a clip from season 17. I wasted so much time. And now we're all just working and surviving and waiting <laughs> for what? Is this all just gonna end one day? Like one day we're all gonna get a memo that says COVID's over, everyone back to normal? I think I wasted all the time I was supposed to be happy. I know filming a medical show right now that acknowledges COVID-19, it seems like it's a really interesting parallel to what we are dealing with in everyday life. What do you think? Oh, I mean, it's a it's a huge parallel. We're we're living the pandemic. We're telling these um, authentic stories from doctors who are working in the pandemic. Um, as an actor, it's a parallel because I'm I'm able to sort of let out a lot of the emotions and anxieties I have surrounding the pandemic through my character, which is uh, you know both difficult but also kind of a blessing. Yeah, I, I know it's crazy to even talk about. We're in season 17 of Grey's Anatomy right now, making this one of the longest running scripted TV shows of all time. What do you think it is that fans love so much about this show? I always go back to the representation that this show has shown. And, they, and Shonda has been doing this for the whole time. Since the beginning of the show, it was groundbreaking. And I think that's what people connect with. And I think that's what people have held on to for so long. The fact that they can see this show and feel seen as well. And maybe feel like somebody on that show represents them, which is an incredible thing to be said about a TV show. And Shonda really has openly covered so many different issues with her characters and turned them into thought provoking storylines. I do want to talk about your relationship with Dr. Nico Kim on the show. This was the first openly gay male relationship and the first kiss between two male doctors to be written into the show. Why do you think it was so important for that to be included and for that storyline to come out? I just know how important it is for me as a human being to see that. And that's the ticket for me. There's so many other people out there in the world who are like me, who feel that way as well. And that's why this story needed to be told so that those people could feel seen. For the first time in you know 15 years, it was that the show was on before there was a gay male relationship like that. And so, I was so excited when I heard that we were we were going to tackle it, and I, I'm so happy that they chose me to do it with. Did this encourage you to come out in your personal life? I was out in my personal life, but it definitely encouraged me to come out publicly because I knew this was a big moment for our community, and I knew that if I was going to join conversations um, about this, I would want to do it in an honest and authentic way, which is why I then came out on my Instagram a few years ago. Um, so yes, it's, uh, Levi and I have done quite a few things hand in hand. Yeah. And you really have continued to break care, break barriers for the LGBTQ community. Outside of that role, you are a former gay times magazine cover star, star of Freeform's first ever gay rom-com. What has been the response from the younger generation? I'm curious in the LGBTQ community in regards to you breaking those barriers for them. Do you think they realize it? Oh, it's been massive. And I don't think, um, I don't think these projects that I've been in or the, 
or the things that I've been lucky enough to do, I, I don't think the weight of that has been lost on anybody. I think people are just as excited about it as I am. And I get to talk to a lot of these young queer people via social media now, which I think is such an incredible way for us to still be able to connect and have community during a pandemic. Um, so it's been wonderful and I love getting to talk to my peers. Jake, I'm curious about the response from the older LGBTQ community to the older generations who maybe felt like they weren't able to be themselves earlier on in their life, but now they see you on screen living your true life. That must mean a lot to them. Oh, it's also massive. And I'm lucky enough to um, have a lot of friends and comrades um, in the older LGBTQ community. and. A lot of those people have been mentors for me and have helped me make these decisions in my career and uh, given me the courage to stand up because they didn't have the ability to do that back then. And they didn't have the platform like, like Disney has given me this, this platform. That's wild, that's wild. And that's something that the generation before us didn't, they weren't afforded those opportunities. And so it's those relationships have been such a, a, a cornerstone for me in um, being able to even have a career that looks like this. And in terms of one of my favorite characters, Dr. Levi Schmidt, what is next for him? Oh, I mean, he's still taking the pandemic day by day, just like I am, just like we all are. And um, I think something like this, as we've seen, it can, it can um, break you and it can also make you stronger. And I hope it's the latter for him, we'll see. I hope so too. Jake Borelli, star of Grey's Anatomy, thank you so much for your time today and for joining us. It's great to chat with you. You too. Thank you for having me. For more on Jake Borelli and other Buzz guests, head on over to newsday.com slash the buzz. And don't forget, Grey's Anatomy returns to ABC's primetime lineup tonight at 8 Eastern. For Newsday, I'm Marissa Sarback.